We have generations now where they came as a child with their parents, now they're bringing their children. So what is that, 26 or seven years we've been doing this. We could be nearing that third generation of families coming out. I'm Damian Prouse and I grow Christmas trees here in Klein, Texas. This farm here has been in our family since 1907. I could kind of see that the traditional farming and agriculture in our area was going away and I thought, well, we need to do something. I loved agriculture. We started growing trees here in about 93. The thought, the idea came probably in 91 and we started selling our first trees in 1996. My daughter was uh, probably a year and a half or two years old and was raised in the trees and so she doesn't know any different. It's always been one of my favorite things being out here and it's what I love doing so that's what made me want to come back and do this full time. There's a couple of kind of trees that we grow here, a Virginia pine and a Leland cypress. The pines are a little slower growing but those will, you can get an eight foot tree maybe in four years. Uh, the cypress trees, maybe in three years you can get an eight foot tree. We bring in from North Carolina and Michigan some other varieties, the spruce tree and uh, the uh, Fraser firs. When you first get here, there's some greeters that will give you some information, uh, the price sheets and things. There's several different stations. There's a place where you go pick up your saw and your measure stick. The measuring stick is just to give them a general idea of how big that tree is. When you're out in this big field, you can look at this tree and say, well, it looks to me like it's this high or, or this wide. And, and until you cut it down and take it home, well, when you do, they get taller and wider. After they get on the hayride wagon, our drivers will take them out to the Christmas tree fields. Once they're out there, they can take their time choosing and cutting their perfect tree, measuring it, cutting it down. Then the tractor driver picks them back up and takes them back up to the front. There's a station there that the guys will shake the trees. And what it does is it removes any of the uh, loose material in the trees. I tell the kids sometimes maybe there's some squirrels in there, I shake them out. And then uh, there's a baler that we take it to and essentially it wraps the tree up into a package where you can tie it on the top of your car. You can handle that and get it in and out of your house easy. People come out and they'll get a tree and it's the center of their holiday season. And really that's probably about the, the best thing about growing these trees is that we can be part of that. Being out here and seeing all the little kids and the smiles on the kids' faces, that's one of my favorite parts. My brother and I would like to take over the farm for my parents one day. We've been growing up and we know this place inside and out, back and forth, and it's something that we both just really love to do. We'll get people that come out here and say, we've been coming out here for 10 years or more and we come here every year and we cut down our Christmas tree and it's the best part of our Christmas and it's really special being such a part of everybody's tradition. I would love to be able to keep the spirit alive and keep the tradition going.